Said it's been long enough since my last game jam, so I joined Bracky's Jam 2023. The theme for it was an end is a new beginning, so I hopped over into mind mapping tool and started thinking of ideas. The first idea I had was a minigame type game, where you get fired if you fail and have to move on to the next minigame, but I didn't really like the idea of having to make a bunch of mechanically different games. The next idea was a game where you play as a tree, somehow, and then play as a new tree when you lose, but I didn't keep going with this one for obvious reasons. My last idea was a typing game, where the last letter of the word is what you have to start the next word with. This one seemed pretty simple, so I just went with this one. Since it's a typing game, the font was pretty important. I wanted the general feel of the game to be like bubbly and fun, and I was originally thinking of a typewriter font and sounds, but that felt a little bit too rigid. I eventually went with the banana font by Hannah Bai. To get the prototype working, I threw my font in Godot and loaded up a long text file list of English words, using this code to read the words from the file. I also added in a function to check whether the word you typed was in the list and tested that out. With that working fine, I added inputs and a line edit node. I made it so that when you hit enter, the game checks to see if it's in the word list and prints true or false. This worked, but the caret reset at the beginning of the word every time. I fixed that by setting the caret position to 1, and also made it so that you can't delete the first character in the line edit. With all that done, I gave it a go, and it was pretty fun to play. Now I just had to add scoring. I went with a Scrabble-style scoring system where each letter has a different score value, so you'd get more points for using more interesting words. The game also gives you a multiplier if you use the same letter multiple times in a row by using words that start and end with the same letter, like alpha or elongate. I also had to make a fail condition, so I added in a progress bar that increases in speed every third word, and a strike counter that penalizes you for using words you've already used or words that aren't in the list. The list isn't perfect, and some words that seem like they definitely should work aren't in there, but it's good enough. With strikes and the progress bar in, I added in a game over screen that tells you your score and scrolls through the words that you used in that run, plus a restart button. Last up was aesthetics, because this shit ugly. So I went and grabbed a palette from coolers.co and added that to the game, which helped a lot. Then I grabbed some simple sounds like bubbles popping, a little success noise, and a buzzer for the strikes, and added those into the game. With that wrapped up, the game was finished. Now here's where I seriously screwed up. I thought the jam was over at the end of Sunday, but it actually ended Sunday morning in my time at 5am, so I missed the deadline. But I figured I might as well publish it anyway since I made it. I uploaded it to itch and none of the words seemed to be working, so I went back and made sure to export the .txt file along with the project and then it was working just fine. It sucks that I was too late to upload it for the jam, but what are you gonna do? If you wanna play it, link's in the description, otherwise peace out.